Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode 21 of Let's Try the Excellent Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Hope you guys are doing well and ready to check out some more Pathfinder with me. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to pause it just one second and be right back. All right, we are back. Let's get it in here. Episode 20. We are about to head into... Um, oh, we were playing with this thing. Right, and I have no idea what the oh, right... Um, situation is here. Yellow, blue, green, yellow. Huh. I don't see any other clues around. Is that a little green? Is that a little blue? Ah, wait a minute. Ah, wait. It looks like green up in, up in here, maybe. Green over here. Or is that just in general how it looks? Blue down here. Blue down here, but some red too. Blue. Green, green, blue. I don't know if it'll be so simple as that, but um let's try. is I guess green so that'd be green and then I don't know green blue green blue how about blue green green blue it is no trouble gotta be something with this can we get a light source maybe maybe we need a better light source let's have her throw on the ever-burning torch for a second all right you can see it's pretty blue down here It's blue, and then it turns into what looks to me to be green. There's a lot of red too. On my way. Let me come over here. And there's a little bit of blue. So these panels like green they're all the same color oh wait is it pointing at a color okay so is that pointing at blue 
Is that pointing at this wheel, which looks red? Or the blue back there? And is this pointing... Guys, I have no idea. I thought maybe they'd be pointing to something. This is simple. Huh. Well, let's get everybody out of here. And see if we can find a key of some sort. But in the meantime... We're going to... Get out of here, I guess. Surprised there's no, uh... I'm gone. There's no key or anything. That's the unfinished portion of the maze. <gasps> what about those portraits? They were different colored. Green, blue, red, green, son. Green, blue, red, green. Green, blue, red, green. Green, blue, red, green. Wow, I can't believe we figured that out. That didn't work. It's, it's how they are on the... Yeah, it should be green, blue, red. Let's go back and look again. Elzarian, let's just have Elzarian run here really quickly and look at this. We'll post him up in here and let the rest of the crew down there. Getting ready to fling some buttons. Where? Man, I'm way back there. Come on. Trot on down. Follow my steps. Green, blue, red. Oh, yellow. And so it should be. It should be green, blue, red. Let us bide our time. Why is that not working? Or if it is, is it giving us... something that we're not realizing is opening? Alright. Let's try this, let's try... Oh, 
they, this is green. Wait, I'm colorblind, guys. I apologize. No, no, no. Stop. I will help where I can. Which one is green? This one. Let's say that. Green, blue, red. Okay. You. Blue. Red. <gasps> oh my gosh. We figured it out. <clears throat> Quick, Elzarian, get back here. Pathfinding is very good. Oh, is that the Paladin Sword? Oh, Zarian's not here. I think I messed it up by having Elzarian be from far back. Oh, he's coming. Seal appears closely at the sword, which seems utterly ex unexceptional to you. Wait, this is... No, it can't be. Her eyes light up. I know that hill. Radiance, the sword of the great Yaniel. That's what this is. But it's meant to be in the Tower of Estrad with all the other relics. That's what I heard, at least. Well, of course this rusted piece of metal must be the very same sword. Camellia rolls her eyes. I think you merely wish that were the illustrious sword of legend. You don't get it. I've seen this sword a hundred times, in paintings and in the hands of Yaniel. The Yaniel statue. The Yaniel statue. I've even thought of going to the Estrad Museum to see the real thing in person. How did it get here? We received radiance. Nice. What's so special about it? Sila frowns. Now, nothing, I guess. But this sword was legendary in its day. People say that when Yaniel held it, the blade would glow, striking demons left and right. Soldiers would see Radiance's light from afar and take heart, rushing into the fray and winning. But I don't know what's wrong with it now or how to restore its power. All I can sense is that they made a mockery of it. You're empathizing with an object? Extraordinary. Are all paladins so tender-hearted and sensitive? Sensitive in a way, yes. We're highly attuned to evil and everything wrought by demons. Radiance was in evil hands, and as a paladin, I can tell you they did nothing good to it. Who is Yanyo? No, you've never heard of Yanyo? She's famous all over Galarian. She was a great woman. She was born in Mendev, and when that crusade started, she couldn't just sit idly by. She dedicated her life to the crusade. People say she was audacious and spirited. She was always the first into battle, and she never sacrificed other people's lives for a tactical advantage. That's how she's been remembered, as an incredible warrior who seemed to blaze with righteous fury. In all the images of her, she looks capable of driving all the demons back to the Abyss single-handedly. The Abyss? Whoa. But then something happened between her and her commanders. Maybe they envied her. Maybe there was more to it than that, I don't know. But anyway, she went into the world wound without her fellow soldiers. And she didn't just survive the mission, she even brought back crusaders she rescued in there. Can you imagine? The Abyss is a realm of infinite horror and unlimited danger. Its vast chasms, known as the Outer Rifts, wind wind throughout the surface of the Outer Sphere. Where the Outer Rifts of the Abyss open onto realms like Elysium or even Heaven. They are the sites of eternal wars against the celestial races. Here, the armies of good maintain permanent encampments along the edges of abyssal rifts and do their best to prevent the rift's spread. For spreading is the correct word. The outer rifts are growing, albeit slowly. Scholars believe that this is a sure sign of the end of all things, that nothing can stop the growing dissolution of the outer sphere and that at some time in the future, the Abyss will consume it all. Worse, the Outer Rifts do not constrain themselves to the Outer Sphere. They can open elsewhere and have done so countless times before to consume entire worlds. The malevolent world wound in Northern Avistan is but late the latest to appear in the Material Plane, a rant in reality that even the full might of the Nation of Mendev is unlikely to contain for long. The Abyss is possessed of many layers strung together by the River Styx, 
Its inhabitants are demons, its rulers demon lords, who wrested control of the plane eon eons ago from the primordial Klippa. She died as she lived, proudly. She was covering the escape of the refugees fleeing Dresden. That's where she perished. She wasn't even 40, very young for a half-elf. But I guess I don't have to explain that to you. You half-elves live twice as long as we do. If you think about it, the Crusades aren't even a hundred years old. That's how little time separates us from the heroes of legend. Yanio could still have been alive today, but fate decided otherwise. You know a lot about Yanio. Are you a fan of hers or something? I suppose you could say that, Sila chuckles. I've always felt an affinity with Yanio. I know what it's like to not be what your commanders want you to be. Whenever I used to feel under pressure, I always thought of Yanio. Maybe some people didn't like how she was, but to the people she pulled out of the world wound, she was perfect. And to the people she saved on the battlefield, she was incredible. And to those who keep her memory alive, she's a hero. That's what counts. How could a priceless relic end up down here? Yanio disappeared, but by some miracle, Radiance was recovered from the battle. No one else has ever wielded it. It's Yanio's blade and always will be. That's why it was put in the Tower of Estrad with the other Crusade relics. But now it turns out that somebody stole it. Sila laughs. I have this weird feeling, like I'm rescuing a fellow warrior from a dungeon. We can't just abandon it, even if it's of no use to us. It's no use to anyone down here. But what if it could be repaired? Let's keep going. Nice. So we figured that out, but where... Oh, Alzarian. Let's get everybody down here. There's other loot as well. Two treasure chests. Um, come down and quick save. Open this one. Two potions, 19 gold. This one. Pick the lock 85%. I am helpful. Two am scrolls not. of inflict light wounds. You are helpful. Regular scimitar, three potions, and 18 gold. Very nice. Alright. Glad we got radiance. I guess this doesn't open then. not that we know of. Cool. So a little hidden secret. Let's go ahead and get out of here. That's the unfinished um, side of the shield maze. So we don't have a lot left to do in terms of like what's left in this dungeon. Yes, there's a few rooms that we can't handle. Um, and I'm wondering if should we, we should retry them right now or just come back when we leveled up. Or we should just go through this door, which I think we have the key to now. Let's head out. This would be where the big bad is. Hosla herself. Let's see. Unlocked. Camping. There are difficult battles to come. Your heroes might be wounded and may have run out of spells. They need rest. To replenish your power, set up a camp and rest. Hotkey R. Camps require a lot of space, so find a good location. Hmm. Difficult battles to come. So yeah, I guess we should rest here. It's no problem to anybody. And uh, three days is um, suggested. That still seems like a lot to me, but okay. You ever wondered why the gods do not simply solve all of the world's ills themselves without paladins and crusades? Camellia. Some gods would be eager to solve mortals' problems for them. Rovagug, for instance, but we wouldn't like the result. 
<laughs> True. That is protective rituals. We're all good to go. We're fully, pretty much fully healed. Let's see where we're going. This should be the end of the shield maze, but I wonder. Oh, the music got pretty creepy. Wonder if we should do this or go try maybe the water elemental again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm going to head out. And we're going to head downstairs again. We might go all out on the water elemental. I'm sure it has some good loot. There's also this room in here, which we... Oh, we cleared this? No, I don't think we did. Oh yeah, maybe we did. There's quite a few rooms down here. Yeah, the pathfinding is awesome. Oh, she's still got the torches. You can change it without her stopping. That's awesome. Yeah, we may have backed out of this room because it had the brute in it. And the brute was just a little too much to handle. And try it again. And realizing we can rest afterwards if need be. Let us be careful. Yep. Oh, we did clear this out? Okay. So that room's cleared out. I didn't remember doing that. Then there's the water elemental. Which is through here. We could just go in and I could pick this one chest. And just be happy with that. I don't even know if I need to even pick it, just open it. This water elemental is too much. Open your heart to me. Yeah, dangerous enemies. It's a chest, right? Hmm, I thought there was. Get out of there. So what could we possibly throw at that thing? It makes us freeze when we... Don't hit it with a reached weapon. There's a box right there. Sneak. Last one for me. Let's just see if there's any chance at all. She missed. Critical miss. Okay, now we're cooking with some grease. Let's do the spirit weapon enchantment. Um, put a battle ward on yourself if you can oh I'm not I'm not okay Magdalar get in there I'm not uh, on horseback clearly go ahead and charge that guy path to target is blocked alright come over here who's this Elzerian arcane weapon enhancement You do one. Land. 
then you do a perfect strike. You won't survive me. Okay, do a charge. So this is how it uh. the horse she's minus 13 um flare burst Good. It's halfway done. Um, if only we could save Camellia. Do another perfect attack. Sela. Is it evil? No. It's down to 25 hit points, bro. We gotta be able to do this. Go ahead and... Throw a prayer out. Oh no. I messed it up. No, wait, maybe we can run around. While Zan hits it. Oh, that did not last long and I got killed instantly. We were so close. Unexpected. So it does show that we could potentially do it. Alright. We could potentially do it. Let's start by using a prayer. Right? Sila, use a prayer. You go ahead and put a one minute thing on. And put a battle ward on yourself. Sila's casting prayer. Come over here and. Oh, to hit it, but she's freezing. Sila. Into the fray. Camellia. Yeah, this is not gonna go go the well. Your blood. <sighs> Did she do a battle ward? I can't inspect. Just attack. Land do a perfect shot. You crossed the wrong mind. So this is how it ah. Down she goes. Just try to lay on hands. So this is how it feels. Oh, she took another attack. We have to get lucky with those first two attacks being like misses. We could do this. Would help if we had fuller health. Now, what is that? Two giant spider legs. Wow, they're worth a lot. Okay, just collect it all. Quick save now. Let's get in. Oh, let me get mounted at least. Or maybe he's better off, you know, being an attacker. Sila. It's moving away. What's Camellia. I wonder. Put a battle ward on Sila. And we could, you know, preemptively 
do this. Um, enlarge person. I will help where I can. And um, you drink a shield of faith for one minute per. Oh no, you do a prayer. Wait, don't do a prayer yet. Come up here. Now do a prayer. And land. Hmm? You start attacking. You the wrong Alzerian start attacking Magdalar. Come over here. Open and Camellia. Got the prayer. Okay, Sila. Don't attack. Camellia is going to try to flank. And Horsey here can charge. Land can do a perfect strike. You won't survive me. Camellia. She's also got spells. Oh, I shouldn't use that potion. Should use the spell. Um, does she attack during this battle spirit? Yeah, I guess so. Use the battle spirit. And then attack. Oh, Camellia got hurt. Oh, she's freezing. Um. Where's Lan? Okay, Lan's in there. Do a perfect hit. You go ahead and drink a potion, girl. I'll go ahead and pull strength on. Sila. Sila's fighting, right? Okay. Darn, down she goes. Ah, oh, we both went down. Yeah, we'll do some pre buffing for the first time with spells and stuff. At least we saved right here. The road awaits. Always be ready for the worst. All right, Camellia, come on. Put a battle ward on our girl, girl here. Battle ward is up. Do that. Do that. And see the. Do a prayer. Save the last there we go. Land back up. You've crossed the wrong mongrel. Magdalar, you charge. Who's he after? Land, no. Sila. Go attack. Camellia. Go attack. Elzerion. Might want to get in there and start attacking. Let's um get dazzled. Not affected by the uh, target spell resist, so let's come right here. Alright, Magdalar probably. No, critical miss! Oh no. Wait, now to a light of the angels. Dazzled him! No kidding! Dazzled it. Okay, land. Do a perfect hit. Camellia, we're all buffed up. Um, Sila. Swift action, Leon hand self. There we go. I'm gonna keep attacking. Oh, we got this, son, with the pre-buffs. Light of the Angels again, it looks like. But actually, let's start shooting. Oh no, Sila. It's... We're getting this. 
it did a cleave. Um, she should have a battle ward on. There's a wand on her. Oh, nice. <laughs> Alright, still attacking. Elzerian to another. Light of the Angels, dazzled him again. Oh, we got this, son. I don't know, it's still like... Really not dead, but... Do that again. Ah, uh, it's missing, but we can't seem to... Do the perfect strike. Till it's reduced. Aha! We're not hitting it for any real damage. Grease right there. Come on. It's missing a lot. There's some damage. Grease. Reflex save. There's a hit. Come on. I'll flare burst. I'm trying anything, son. It's almost done. Oh, it worked. It worked. Magic missile. Did four damage. It's almost dead. Come on. Man, is there anything else you can do? Just keep going, man. Keep going. Seven reduced. That battle ward is hitting. It's hitting. It went underwater to heal or something. We got it. We got it, son. Your first big enemy. Playing on core. Oh my gosh, 159 XP. That was awesome. So just a little pre-buffing. And we figured it out. Oh no, Magdalar's. I hate the voice of the spirits. Wait, is Magdalar dead or is Magdalar Magdalar is dead, son? Out of what? Magdalar is dead. We did all of that and did not keep Magdalar alive. Are you kidding me? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Can we use a... A 10 to live scale? Come on, let me use a 10 to live scale. Yes! Raise dead, raise Magdalar. Perfect. Follow my steps. Wait, yes, Magdalar's back. Oh my gosh. Fit. That was so clutch. We should prepare. Ah. Uh, Let us bide our time. Um, dismiss the spell. Saddle up. Now, if I point Magdalar oh, somewhere, okay. Whew, that was almost a disaster, son. I found uh, something. Loot. Five moderate wounds potions, unidentified ring, and a potion to protect from evil. Nice. And here we have kitchen smelling of burnt fat and garlic. Food was clearly cooked here in vast quantities. And this has four edible moss. Two light wounds, 15 gold. Is that everything? That is everything. Whew. And then I thought when it went underwater like that, I said, oh, it's going to heal up a lot. It's going to come back and... You know, we're going to be done for, but... Very nice. Then there's still that room, though, we've got a pre-buff for over over here. Where that one has, like, a... A flow of water rings. That one has a brute in it and stuff. Grants the wearer plus one bonus on saving throws against spells with cold descriptor. And adds plus one to the DC for all saving throws against spells with cold descriptor. Descriptor the wearer casts. Hmm... 
That is interesting. I don't know of any water spells I'm casting, but I will go ahead and slip that ring on. Okay, cure moderate potions. Um, nice. I used Bear's Endurance. We used a prayer. We used everything. We might have to fight that Minotaur. We're at medium weight, by the way. Eight Masterwork Scimitars. Okay, let's see here. Sila. Didn't use the Shield of Faith. That's cool. Let's throw a Cure Moderate in there. Actually, Scroll of Unbreakable Heart. The Scroll of Prayer, but we really got to save that for a special occasion. Place one of those with Cure Moderate. Inflict Light. Potion of Enlarge Person. Cure Wounds. My wounds, okay. And we'll give you potentially a Cure Moderate. Where'd they go? Where the heck did they go? There they are. When I can no, I can't equip the potions as weapons. We'll have to rest. I'll go ahead and grab um Someone can't, else can't put the tome on. Just checking diamond dust, honey. We'll put expeditious retreat there. Cool. Did anybody level up? No, we're halfway there. Oh, cool. Primary colors can be changed. Close colors. Hmm. All right, so we took down the water elemental sun. How cool is that? We're 42 minutes in, so want to thank you guys for joining me i hope you enjoyed if you did please go ahead and hit the like button or leave a comment that just lets me know that you want to see more and thus more will get made but i'm pretty sure more is going to get made anyway we're going to try next time to take out this room with the brew which is pretty difficult too but shouldn't be too bad when we pre-buff we're going to rest in here oh we can't rest because it's water oh, oh 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 i saw a green flash for a second oh oh <laughs> we'll rest there next time guys so um but yeah thank you for joining me uh, if you're new to my channel feel free to subscribe and welcome um hit the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads but that said guys those are just suggestions i do hope you guys will join me next time we are getting it in we know that pre-buffing really helps and should get us through this next battle and beyond then after we do these optional rooms, it's right on to the Minotaur, presumably, in the last area. So hope to see you guys then. Onwards we go. Until next time, guys, be well, live well, stay well, and much love, peace, and joy. Catch you guys then so long for now. Bye-bye.